The shocking future of humanity. What will the next million years bring? Welcome to the Eye of Truth. It's natural for all of us to be curious about the future. We've all probably wondered at some point what the future might hold, and have even imagined what it might be like. A century ago, people made predictions about what the 21st century would be like. Many of those predictions have come true due to careful guesses and imaginative thinking based on the development of society at the time, as well as scientifically sound analysis. If we apply this method of guessing to today's society, we may be able to get a rough idea of humanity's future. In this video, let's explore the potential future that humanity may face in the next million years using our powers of speculation and imagination. In December 2017, President Donald Trump signed Space Policy Directive 1, launching a new lunar exploration program called Artemis. After several failed attempts, humanity left footprints on the moon again for the first time in about half a century in 2025, albeit one year later than originally planned. This manned flight was broadcast on YouTube in its entirety, and the number of concurrent viewers reached a peak of 400 million. NASA, the agency leading the program, acquired valuable data and also began construction of a lunar base. SpaceX, the company led by Elon Musk that developed and operated the rocket and lander for the Artemis program, achieved great success and further solidified its position as the top private space company. By the same year of 2025, SpaceX's long-term project, Starlink, had launched a total of 42,000 communication satellites. As a result, almost all regions, including countries with underdeveloped communication infrastructure, switched to the cheaper and faster Starlink to access the Internet. This caused significant difficulties for communication companies worldwide. However, Elon Musk's progress continued to accelerate. In 2022, his laboratory specializing in artificial intelligence research, OpenAI, announced ChatGPT a revolutionary conversational chatbot that amazed the world. All companies that operate search engines, including Google, felt a sense of crisis with the birth of ChatGPT and began to focus on developing the next generation of artificial intelligence to compete with it. As a result, the evolution of artificial intelligence accelerated even further, and by 2050, most simple brain work was replaced by AI. In addition to occupations such as drivers, translators, and most office jobs, some work in specialized and creative occupations such as designers, composers, painters, and programmers have also been taken over by AI. Other countries also succeeded in manned lunar exploration and began constructing lunar bases, but the United States, led by NASA and SpaceX, succeeded in sending astronauts to Mars by 2050. The astronaut who landed on the surface of Mars spoke the same words to all humanity that Armstrong spoke when he landed on the moon in 1969. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Around that time, not only aviation technology, but also artificial intelligence made a big leap forward. Search engine services like Google were completely replaced by AI assistants and people could feel as if they had their own personal secretary or teacher. When they had research or other things they didn't understand, they could ask their AI assistant and get an accurate answer right away. As a result, school education through high school shifted its focus from knowledge itself to education in thinking and morality. This AI assistant is not accessed through devices such as mobile phones or computers, but rather through a chip implanted in the human brain. The company that achieved this is Neuralink, which is also owned by Elon Musk. However, this AI assistant has not only brought benefits. If you have more money, you can get a higher performance chip, leading to a tendency for those with more wealth to have stronger computing power and memory. And for the first time in human history, differences in wealth have emerged in terms of thinking ability as well. In 2070, the Hyperloop, a new transportation system, was put into practical use. This technology uses a vacuum tube installed underground and underwater 
to lift a train with magnets and make it run at speeds of about 5,000 kilometers an hour, allowing for travel from Tokyo to New York in only about two hours. It also does not emit carbon dioxide during operation, making it environmentally friendly. As a result, airplanes became a thing of the past. The Hyperloop was also developed by Elon Musk's company. In 2080, quantum computer technology finally reached practical levels, and the processing speed and computational power of computers entered a new dimension. As a result, AI further developed and evolved into a more general-purpose AI that was not limited to a specific field. In 2090, the world's first space elevator was completed. Made of carbon nanotube material, the space elevator reaches a height of 36,000 kilometers, the orbit of a stationary satellite. With its completion, the cost of space travel has significantly decreased, making it possible for ordinary people to travel to space. In 2100, the world population reached 11 billion. Although the current upper limit for the population that can be sustained by food grown on Earth is considered to be 10 billion, the sustainable society has continued to grow beyond that number. The key to this solution was genetic engineering technology and practical artificial meat technology. From then on, food shortages no longer threatened humanity. Nuclear power plants have traditionally relied on nuclear fission reactions, which have low energy conversion efficiency and pose significant risks in the form of radioactive waste and the potential for nuclear accidents. In contrast, nuclear fusion reactions, which mimic the energy-producing mechanism of the sun, have a high energy conversion efficiency and produce very little radioactive waste. After centuries of research and technological advancement, mankind finally achieved practical nuclear fusion technology around 2200. This technology, also known as artificial sun technology, represents the ultimate energy source. With 50 more years of development, humanity was able to reach Type 1 on the Kardashev scale, a measure of the technological advancement of civilizations, becoming a planetary civilization. If you're interested in learning more about the different levels of space civilizations, I previously made a video on this topic. In this society, reliance on natural resources such as oil has been eliminated, and the society has evolved into a nuclear-based one with all energy for production and daily life coming from nuclear fusion power plants. In terms of space exploration, by 2500, humanity has successfully sent manned spacecraft to almost all the planets in the solar system. The construction of a Mars base is also progressing well, and while jobs requiring long-term stays on Mars are risky, they are highly coveted due to their high pay. Additionally, the use of carbon nanotubes as building materials has enabled the construction of ultra-high-rise buildings reaching 10,000 meters in height, expanding the human living space into the sky. As for artificial intelligence, almost all manual work is entrusted to AI. This has greatly reduced the working hours of humans, and many people have become involved in work related to the arts or the control and development of AI. However, even though they rely on AI, humanity has imposed limits on AI so that it cannot evolve on its own. Because if AI were allowed to evolve unrestricted, it could potentially pose a threat to humanity. In around 2600, nanomachine technology became practical. By injecting artificial devices the size of viruses, 0.1 to 100 nanometers, into the human body, it became possible to attack targeted cells such as cancer cells with pinpoint accuracy and even repair mutated DNA. In addition, by being able to attack specific viruses or bacteria, humans have been able to cure difficult diseases such as cancer and viral infections. In the field of regenerative medicine, almost all organs can be regenerated. Parts that no longer function properly or parts lost in accidents can be easily regenerated. Thanks to these technologies, the average life expectancy of humans at that time has greatly increased. However, the development of gene editing technology also led to some unintended consequences. Before children are born, it is possible to alter their traits, including their appearance, intelligence, personality, and physical characteristics. This practice, 
known as designer babies, has been met with ethical concerns and is prohibited by law in many countries. However, some countries continue to offer these services for a high price, prioritizing profit over ethical considerations. As a result, the wealthy have access to genetically modified children who are superior in every way, leading to an even greater concentration of resources and power among the wealthy. This has caused societal tensions and the world is on the brink of global social collapse. In response, countries around the world have been forced to legalize and make gene modification services available to all. This allows newborns to start on the same starting line again. From there, humankind finally gained the power of gods and was able to choose the direction of their own evolution for the first time. It has been a long time since humans reached Type 1 civilization, but about 100,000 years later, Earth civilization enters Type 2, Stellar Civilization. Until then, humans have used energy obtained from nuclear fusion reactions to meet the needs of social activities. But due to the need for the development of science and technology, the energy gradually becomes insufficient. Therefore, in order to seek further energy, it becomes necessary to directly obtain energy from the Sun, which is a star. This is the origin of the term stellar civilization. The reason the Sun has been burning for billions of years is because nuclear fusion reactions are constantly occurring inside of it. If all of this energy can be efficiently obtained, it can be said that humans have almost unlimited energy. One way to directly obtain energy from the Sun is through the artificial device called the Dyson Sphere which has been mentioned several times in previous videos. The Dyson Sphere captures nearly all of the Sun's emitted energy by encasing it like an eggshell. This amount of energy is so vast that it cannot be compared to what a Type 1 planetary civilization could obtain. This allows humanity to freely travel between all the planets in the solar system and space migration has become widespread. Meanwhile, people on Earth not only live on the surface, but also in space cities constructed in Earth's orbit. When we envision space cities, we may picture floating in zero gravity, but this is not an issue. By that time, artificial gravity technology has been developed, so it is possible to experience living on Earth in the same way. In addition, Mars has been transformed into a planet suitable for human life through a long period of environmental modification over 100,000 years. At this time, about one-third of humanity is living on Mars. In order to adapt more to the Martian environment, they are not only modifying the natural environment of Mars, but also their own bodies at the genetic level. Genetic modification technology at this time has evolved even further than a Type 1 civilization, and the human beings living on Mars are able to live comfortably even in a dry, thin atmosphere, and can even go without food for long periods of time and have bodies that are resistant to radiation exposure. In regards to society, the institution of marriage has long since disappeared, and many people have artificial robots as partners. Those who want children choose a partner's genes from a gene pool and grow them in vitro. In addition, the virtual world metaverse, built on the network, has evolved into a complete form. Almost all activities such as work, socializing, and entertainment can be carried out in the metaverse. Therefore, the boundary between the real world and the virtual reality is gradually becoming thinner. One million years in the future, humanity has evolved into a Type 3 galactic civilization. This term is used because almost all of the stars in the galaxy have Dyson spheres belonging to humanity, which serve as energy sources. In other words, Humanity has come to rule the entire galaxy. Science fiction concepts like warp drive, anti-gravity devices, and wormhole travel have become realities. These technologies and theories are largely developed by AI, and humanity is mainly focused on managing and controlling AI. At this point, distance is no longer a major consideration for travel, and humanity can go anywhere in the galaxy. As a result, they can be found in various locations throughout the Milky Way, not just on Earth and Mars. In this society, humanity modifies their own genes to adapt to the environments of the planets they inhabit, similar to the Martian settlers of a Type II civilization. 
Many people have also become cyborgs through their integration with machines. These have led to the creation of a new subspecies of humanity, some of which may not be immediately recognizable as human based on appearance alone. Each planet has developed its own unique culture and customs, and some factions are hostile to each other, but there has never been a large-scale war. This is because humanity living throughout the galaxy has a shared understanding that one of the main reasons their civilization has advanced so far is that no major wars have occurred in the last million years. The people of that time, who have acquired advanced knowledge, learn the most important lesson in their lives. That is the history of their homeland, the Earth. They deeply engrave in their hearts how barbaric, foolish, dangerous, and cruel the various wars and conflicts that occurred on that blue star were, and how they degraded civilization. The humankind of that time, who have thoroughly understood the importance of peace, a thing that can be said to be more important than any advanced knowledge, will surely greet a brighter future.